Hi, I'm Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library, and I am here to bring you summer storytelling. I have been enjoying this summer so far, and I hope you have. I hope you've been taking good long walks and smelling the flowers and enjoying the luscious green all around us because of the spring rains we had. Maybe you've been eating some amazing summer fruit like watermelon and blueberries and blackberries and strawberries. Strawberries are a big favorite for everyone. And I found a story just the other day about how strawberries came to be. Stories about how things came to be might be exactly true or they might be stories that show us how wonderful and how glorious a thing is and help us appreciate that thing. This is that kind of story. And it comes to us from the Cherokee, who must have been enjoying strawberries for centuries. According to this story, a long, long time ago, back when the whole world was new, the creator made a man and a woman, and he made them both at the same time so that neither one would ever be lonely. The man and the woman were glad of that. They, they married, and they lived together happily for many, many years. They divided up jobs so that neither one would have to work too hard, and they would always have time to just enjoy life together. One day, the man was off hunting, and he didn't have a lot of luck. So he came back kind of angry, and kind of hungry, and kind of hungry, and kind of angry. You heard the word hangry? That was him. So he came back to the place where he and the woman were staying, and he saw that she hadn't prepared the dinner yet, and that was her job. In fact, he saw that she was out in the fields picking flowers. And he got very annoyed by this, and he walked up to the woman and he said, Where is my dinner? Do you think the whole world is just about picking flowers? And the woman looked up. She was shocked by how he treated her, and she said, I am hurt by your words. I will not stay here any longer. She got angry herself and she walked off at top speed. And the man, when he saw her walk off, he realized how harsh he'd been. And he called out her name, but she didn't answer. And he started to follow her, but she was already a long way in front of him. And he couldn't catch up. He followed anyway, calling her name. And as the setting sun watched this scene, he felt sorry for the man because he could tell the man was sorry. And so he said to the man, are you still angry with your wife? And the man said, no, I was stupid to talk to her that way, but I can't catch up with her to tell her how sorry I am. And the son said, well, I guess I can help with that. So the son watched the woman's path and predicted where she was going. And he decided to put some bright red little raspberries, little dots of color and flavor in her path. But the woman was so angry, she didn't even notice them. And the man kept calling and the woman kept ignoring him. And she kept walking, and the sun threw down some beautiful blueberries, caused them to bloom, and they shined against the, the green leaves. And the woman noticed them, but she was too angry to stop. And so she kept walking, and she was so far ahead now she couldn't even hear the man call her name. 
And so the son tried again. And he made intricate, special blackberries. And they shined and they glowed against the leaves in the setting sun. And the woman noticed them. But she kept on walking. And so finally the son decided to give it one more try. And the woman kept walking and the sun drew all of its creative warming energy together and it made a glorious red fruit with little dots all around it. And he caused this red fruit to grow right in front of the woman's path. And the woman kept walking and she saw the sun shining on these red fruits like little bits of fire in front of her. And she was captivated. She said, oh! And she bent down to look at them and then to taste one. And they were so sweet and so juicy. They reminded her of the sweetness of her life with her husband. And the woman felt sad that she had run off without giving him a chance to apologize. She thought, you know, everybody has a bad day. I, I'm going to pick some of these for my husband. And she started gathering the fruits. And she was engrossed in it. And she didn't even hear him come up from behind. So the first words she heard where I am so sorry I spoke to you that way. I was hungry and angry and that's no excuse. Please come home. And the woman turned, and she took a strawberry, and she just put it in his mouth and let him taste it. And his eyes lit up and his smile grew and the two of them said, let's quarrel no more. They went home and they had their strawberries as part of their dinner. And from that day forward, strawberries bloomed in that place and in other places to remind us all how sweet life is when we share its bounty with each other. That's the story of how strawberries came to be. I really like that story. It taught, it, it, it kind of gets at how special strawberries are, don't you think? But you know, every food is special in its own weird way. And so I challenge you to make a story about how some other fruit or vegetable came to be. It can be funny or it can be sweet. And you can share that story with your family at dinner time. Next week, I'll be back with another fun story. I hope you enjoy the week in between. Bye-bye, kids.